Now to our national coronavirus coverage. Florida added 8,800 new cases yesterday, its lowest number in weeks, while Texas saw its COVID death toll jump 12% after the state changed the way that it counts fatalities. CBS 13's Dania Backus reports from Los Angeles today, where cases are also starting to trend downward. Officials in Houston say so far they have twice as many COVID-19 deaths in July than in all of June, and the numbers show significant community spread. Do not think uh, that you're so strong uh, that you cannot be a carrier, and even if you're feeling well. Florida reported another 77 COVID-related deaths Monday. Coronavirus response coordinator Dr. Deborah Burks says what is happening in the South is moving north. She urged states to take precautions. There are states that do need to close their bars, to decrease indoor gatherings, to really make it possible to control the pandemic before it gets worse in states like Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, and Virginia. But Tennessee's governor, who met with Dr. Burks Monday, waved off her recommendation. I've said from the very beginning of this pandemic that there's nothing off the table. I've also said we're not going to close the economy back down. In Baltimore, Dr. Joseph Costa, who was on the front lines of the COVID-19 battle, died from the virus. Dr. Costa is a, a hero. He was doing incredible work saving lives. Currently, more than 2,000 people are hospitalized in Los Angeles County. More than a quarter of those patients are in ICU. But the mayor of Los Angeles says progress is being made. We're seeing the curve bending down again. Two large-scale coronavirus vaccine trials are now underway in the U.S. We want to see how bad their symptoms are. Do they end up in the hospital or is it a very minor infection? If either is successful, health officials say a vaccine could be ready by the end of the year. And the trials, one being done by Moderna, the other by Pfizer, each involve 30,000 volunteers.